Hey, thanks, guys. That was a wonderful video because you really showed us um, the idiotic perceptions of fibromyalgia and the same perceptions we get from family and friends and the robotic voices and the people that really don't give a shit. You know, um, you say all these things because you're not educated. I didn't start out using pain medication. I started out um, as a young girl that was pumped full of a lot of sulfa medication that turned my teeth yellow and um, earaches. And my period started when I was 10 years old. And I was the same size I am about at 10 years old. And they said it was growing pains. And throughout my life, I was always in pain. At 16, I went over a 300-foot cliff in Utah and broke my back in a few places. Still continue to work and function and go all over the world and uh, do some things you probably never thought of in your life. And um, it was in another uh, car accident, not my fault either. And uh, I've ridden horses, so my head was hit a few times and... That's what my uh, dementia, which my doctor calls it. I don't believe I have dementia, but that's what my neurologist says. And I've seen certain doctors that I've never even asked pain medication for. The, uh, so I'm 43 now. I've only been on pain medication since 2004 when I was on my Harley Davidson and somebody in a Jaguar decided to take a U-turn and broke the left side of my body. And since then, the pain got worse and worse and worse. And uh, then I had uh, a doctor that said I needed a hysterectomy, and things got worse after that. So your video is my perfect illustration of the education that is out in America. If you look at any website from Europe, just put in uh, fibromyalgia ME. And they will state to you that our lifestyle is worse than people with lupus, MS, cancer, AIDS. And I can tell you that. I have a neighbor down the street. And uh, I was living here for a year. And it was after my accident. And she had breast cancer. And she went through a lot. You know, she went through chemotherapy. She had to have her hair out. And then she recovered, and now she's walking around the block with her husband, and I'm still in bed, in pain, with nobody knowing what to do about it, with bumps under my skin, with hot flashes, um, with bowel problems, with not able to eat anything that's right. And, you know, I've tried every diet that there's out there. I've spent thousands of dollars on every different type of treatment. So your video is basic bullshit, but it's great information for me. Thank you very much for making it. <laughs> Bye, bro, El Michelle. I love it when people are as stupid as you because then I can really use it. Thanks.